Hello there, you beautiful people. I hope you're safe and I hope that you're well. Do you ever struggle with test anxiety? So it's that, that anxiety that builds and builds and builds when it comes to end topic tests, exams, your mocks, tests, then this is the video for you. Because what I'd like us to do is I'd like us to build your self-awareness up. So then by building on that self-awareness, we can learn to recognize what is it that you fear about these tests? What is it that's causing this anxiety? So let's get on with it. What I would like to do is I'd like you to, to become aware that there's almost this continuum of anxiety because each and every human being experiences anxiety. But what we have is we have this kind of sense of good anxiety. It's healthy, it's productive, and it's helpful. And, and this sense of anxiety is what we want to, to feel. It allows us to recognize deadlines about the importance of doing our homework, about the importance of turning up to lesson on time. However, when that becomes too much and overwhelming, then we can almost get this anxiety, which is just insane. It's, it's so hard to, to live with in a way that it is unhealthy, unproductive and unhelpful. And with that, we've kind of got to recognize that we are going to have moments where this, this anxiety is going to learn to build, but it's about recognizing the steps that you need to implement self-care and looking after yourself to kind of keep that in check, I suppose. So let's get on with the kind of the three potential fears that you have that's causing your test anxiety. Do you ever feel nervous when it comes to one of those tests, exams, end topic tests, whatever it might be? Do you ever feel that sense of nervousness? Because if you do, then that's really good and I'm really, really pleased you feel that because, I'm sorry to sound horrid, but I'm pleased because that means that you care and it means that you have this almost this, this energy within you that by you recognizing, huh, I'm feeling really nervous, I'm feeling really sick, I've got a headache, I'm feeling really faint. Actually, that means that I'm nervous and that means that I care. Because then what you can do is you can just learn to recognize and change that and use that to kind of get that mind into the right mindset. So my first question would be for you to explore if you have this feeling of inadequacy. This feeling that you're just not good enough and that no matter how hard you try that you'll never get what you need or you want. The thing is though, with that feeling of inadequacy, it can really hold you back because it can almost stop you from believing in yourself. So with that, what I need us to do is I need us to be prepared. And there are going to be times in the past that you have failed or that you have experienced and got really poor grades. But with that, I need you to remember that from those mistakes in the past, and that may be that you left it too late, you didn't try hard enough, um, you didn't find the right revision method for you, which is possible, that it's about kind of building on that and it's about reminding yourself that you're worthy. It's reminding yourself that you're good enough and it's reminding yourself that, you know, providing you're, you're prepared to put in the effort that you'll get those results. I'm not saying to you that it's going to be easy, okay, and it's going to make some changes and it's going to need some commitment, but it's just about recognizing that you are worthy, that you are enough and it's about you believing in yourself. My second question that I'd like you to explore is maybe that you have this sense of fear of the stakes. So for you, it feels as if there is everything riding on these exam results, and that it might not only be kind of your chosen subjects for your, for your options, but it might also be kind of your sixth form or your college or your uni, and that actually based on those grades is, is your future. This one's really simple. I just wanna bring you back down to earth and ground you just to remind you that your grades do not define you. I'm telling you as somebody that really cares about you guys that I know that there is so much kind of pressure maybe from, from certain people, it might be from yourself, your teachers, your family, your parents, but I need you to recognize that your grades do not define you, that actually it may feel as if it's everything riding on these grades, but it's not. And actually, if you get those results back and they're not what you, you wanted or needed or expected, just look outside the window and just kind of make yourself realize that the sky hasn't fallen, the world hasn't ended, and actually you'll get through this. 
Well, my final kind of question for you to explore is actually, is it fear of the unknown? When we're getting older and we're taking these tests or these exams, it's almost this sense of needing to prove ourselves. And I get that, and, and that's, that's important. However, what I need you to remember is that when we're fearful of, of what we don't know, we can almost make it so much worse and bigger in our head. And as you know from my previous videos where I harp on about it, what we think we feel. So therefore, if we're fearing, you know, not knowing what's going to happen, it's about maybe even the, the kind of the layout of the exam or where the exam will be. Certainly if you're new to, to mocks, then it's about just realizing that it's about you trying to, to get prepared and take control as much as you can, okay? So for example, getting prepared will allow you to maybe go and find out where are these exams taken? Where are these tests taken? If it's within the school and it might be a sports center, like go and have a look in that sports hall, go and look inside it and just have a look around what it's like. If you've got any questions about upcoming tests or exams, ask your teachers. That's what they're there for. And honestly, I, I work, you know, I, I work in schools and I'm with these teachers that are just like, why don't they ask? Like, I'm here, I'm not gonna bite. You know, it's their job, they are paid to help you. And if you haven't got the right teacher to ask, then I'd like to think at secondary school or at high school, sixth form college, that you've got other teachers that you can go to. You've got your tutor, your pastoral, your wellbeing team. So it's just about reaching out and, and finding out who you can ask. I'd also like you to get familiar with those test conditions. So that might mean that when you're revising, maybe try revising in silence. It's about just getting yourself as, as prepared as you can be and kind of as a familiar, I can't say that word, familiar, yeah, I got it, um, as you can with, with those test conditions. It's about becoming comfortable with the uncomfortable because then it won't be quite so scary. So there you have it. There are three questions for you to just kind of explore and just see if any of them ring true for you. I also want you to remind yourself that if you've ever experienced past failure when it comes to tests or exams, then that might kind of hold you back. So for example, with those mistakes that you've made in the past, I want you to, instead of repeating itself, I want you to change the input, okay? I want you to maybe give yourself more time, be kind of be more prepared, maybe revise a different way, maybe ask for help. If you can change your input, then it means that the results, the output won't be the same. But it is about you needing to put in the effort. So I'm not saying it's going to be easy. And some people, wow, they can just walk into a classroom or kind of an exam hall and just nail it. And then there's other people that were like me that had to work my socks off. I really had to work my socks off. And even then I still didn't get the grades. However, looking back on it now, the best thing that I did is I know that in my heart of hearts I tried, therefore I've got no regrets. So I suppose what I'm asking you to do is to just try and get into the habit, certainly if you're sitting in your mocks, is just get into the habit, learn to identify this test anxiety, and then we'll be able to move forward. Look after yourselves, stay awesome, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.